Hello and welcome to day 61 of our 2790 series. Today we begin Paul's letter to the church in Ephesus and we remember that in Acts chapter 19, this is the church that started with a riot. The silversmiths went crazy. They organized everybody in, in the town to go after Paul. He hid in the theater and out of that came the church. We know uh, that he appointed young man Timothy to be the pastor in this very troubled church. Uh, and the church began to gain strength and grow in power and in wisdom, but it did have some, uh, some issues uh, to confront, and Paul, being Paul, uh, he's not afraid to confront those issues, but he begins as he always does. He focuses the attention of the letter on the glory of Christ, the power of being a new creature, and how important it is for us to put off our old selves and put on the new, how we become new creatures in the person of Jesus Christ, uh, he gives us an opportunity to learn what it means to be humble to God, uh, to learn what it means to have faith and faith alone. And so uh, the focus becomes that we are made alive by a relationship with the living God. He says to the Ephesian church in very famous, and sometimes I use it for Christmas stories, Ephesians chapter 2, that we are one in Christ and we are united in Christ because of his work on the cross. And that, that gives us faith that the power of the cross and the presence of the Spirit gives us faith to be united as a church. Uh, he talks about uh, these men and women who have infiltrated the church for the purpose of undermining the church because they have an agenda. The silversmiths and their wives, they have an agenda, uh, and that is to destroy the church and create idols. And, uh, and Paul is encouraging, later we'll see he encourages Timothy, not to allow people with different agendas, different from the truth of the gospel of Christ, to undermine what it is that men and women of God are called to accomplish and that is to usher in the new kingdom. And so uh, enjoy your reading of the first part of Ephesians.